Bros. Yes. What's up, man? What's going on? Y'all go. How y'all was go. Week? Y'all had a good week. I, I was having a great week until last night, fam. Uh-huh. What you got? Going y'all gonna let y'all gonna let them, them people come for Kirk Franklin and not do nothing? <laughs> I'm hot. That was copy. I'm hot. What they want from Kirk? I don't know, but they they gotta see see what what they underestimate is is those those people that break through and just normal normal human shit ain't gonna be able to take them them type of folks down. Mm. I, the only thing I'm upset about is the fact that Kirk got up there and apologized. Don't apologize for checking your grown ass son. I <laughs> I loved every second of it. By the way, yeah. <laughs> as a, as a as a nigga who got a lot of whoopings, yeah, <laughs> I'm your I'm your guy. I mean, but, for for ruins, I think like the the um, the apologies only take place like when you have certain relationships in place, exactly. which, which sucks. You know what I mean? Because folks don't be wanting to apologize for this shit. Let's see if we can get some some actual audio of how hard he was going. Any, I'm just, I'm sorry, bro. I'm so, I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm not, def, I'm not the defender of corporal punishment. Like the whooping, that whooping shit is played out. However, to this very day, <laughs> to this day, I was about to say that's all. <laughs> to, to this day, if my mama tell me she gonna put her foot in my ass, I believe her. <laughs> <laughs> And it, and and see this is this is why this is why I love black people though, because you got to listen to the the inflections in his voice. Don't mm-hmm. you ever? This was when when they got to go to the ever. Mm-hmm. You liable to get you liable to get the brakes beat off of you, like like to the point where they forget that you came from them type shit. Mm-hmm. And I don't, I don't know. I just I feel like a, I feel like if you're from a particular time. Like it's one thing to be woke. We got all this information. Cool, y'all have it. Like, you're you're hunky. You're you're, you're you want to talk to your children. You want to be patient, and that's gonna be me. But it's because we know better now. Mm-hmm. That wasn't Coco. I'm, my poor mom. She she. I promise y'all, she a Christian, y'all. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> you know she, you know she coming for you. I promise. Uh, and she's so sweet though. She's no, so she she's so she sweet. <laughs> But that nigga's a gangster though. Yeah, Don't ever get it twisted. Yeah, from back in the day. See you know, what I'm saying? They they just time. you know what you know what I was thinking about it because I and I G. Hmm. Why did that really upset me? What's that? For him recording his dad. That's it, what I was. That's it, what I was about to get to. It's a, it's a private family moment, and it be your it be your own folks. It be your own folks. Like it, bro, be, it you, be terrible. Like when it's your children though. But like, you grown, my nigga. Yeah. And you recording your dad in a private moment, and you and you and you and you and you said something. You clearly said something to trigger it, cause you cause you cause you think you grown. I don't give a fuck. Even my dad. But it comes to that. It comes to that, that attention seeking shit. Like I think that's what that's what it was. Like you knew who you was talking to. Like man, if the cold part is is that that's pops. Like. You look, you looking at it as like a Kirk Franklin moment. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and that's and, that's weirdo energy. That and he he, he had to remind like us. <laughs> don't you ever, don't you ever. You know what I'm saying? It. Like you, you know, I talk to you like you know, I talk to you like this when you be effing up. Like, like don't don't act like it's something different. But Facts. now that you're recording, now you're trying to get me in a certain situation, which is foul. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, and you don't even like for those type of things, bro. Like you can apologize all you want, but guess what? As my child, I look at you different. And it's fucked up to say, but you know what I mean? Like you were blood above blood. Mm. You know what I mean? But you start, you, you do something like that once. It only takes once. You do yeah. that once, bro, you at arm's length. Like I still do shit for you, love you family. You know what I mean? Like you my seed. But if, if I didn't, if by now, if I didn't 
instill it in you that you don't do no shit like that. Like that, yeah. Then I failed as a parent, but also now I know that I can't, you know, like we don't have the same type of relationship. Yeah. And it is what it is. Yeah, no, that was it's 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 funny and it's to poke poke fun at it and, and all the shit, but it, it does it brings up a, a unique conversation in and around Cause you want, cause you want to dismiss the OGs when they be like, "Man, this generation soft." Whoop, 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 whoop. Bro, they not lying. They not lying. Like, um, no, nah, definitely soft, but you know, there's they a, also like advanced too. No, that so it's so like they're so advanced. Like that's what happens when you become so advanced is that certain things like you just don't tap into. Like you don't have the. And so that's the part where. How do we have a well-rounded, well-balanced discussion about the advancement of this generation that was built on the back of, that was built on the back of. The generations before struggle. Yeah. Like they're like, like, and not struggle in a, in a, like, it just sound cool to say. No. Nah. Like they really went through some shit. Yeah. Like my, my, my mom and, 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 and Elle's dad tell these, these, these vivid ass stories about being chased home by white kids uh, walking from school, like white kids in pickup trucks. like, And you go, man, this ain't the motherfucking South. And it's like, what you mean? Like, what? No. That shit, that shit, is, that shit is, is, is worldwide and don't ever get it confused. And so you look at the cyberbullying. Um, there was an incident at my, at my school. We did the, uh, we did the, double, uh, the double ASU. Um, African American Student Union, they've had it for forever at our school. But it was because of the disregard for the racism that existed in that little pocket. Pano Valley High is a, is such a unique place because that's not Richmond. It's not it's not Baleo for crying out loud. It's not it's not none of that. It, it's Pano. But a whole bunch of kids from Richmond, a whole bunch of kids from the town, a whole bunch of kids from Berkeley ended up at that school somehow, some way. And the people who live in those hills and those secluded areas that pay their taxes and all this shit, like them white folks didn't want us up there. And so as a means to, as a means to protect and govern ourselves, the African American Student Union was started and did a great job, you know, it's facilitating uh, scholarships, the debate team, and just giving giving the black students there a whole another aspect of shit, right? So in the in the in the midst of building our own, um, celebrating our own, there was a <laughs> there was a, a a a viral attack on one of the activations that they tried to do, and I was like, oh shit, this is this is this is real. This is so much. So so much bigger, bigger than us. But the what my shout out to uh, Miss Lam is what she was saying. She was like, "Yo, it's really hard." She's like, I, "It's really hard be trying to be there for the kids now." She's like, "The difference with y'all is like, y'all." She's like, "Y'all would fight if one of the white kids called y'all something crazy. Like y'all just beat the brakes off them and it'd be and it'd be it. Like it'd be there'd be consequences or whatever." So she was like, "You try to try to protect you guys in that sense, but as as in terms of y'all being bullied and y'all mental health being." Um, Manipulated that way, it wasn't wasn't really shit to worry about, and so you see something like this, where the, to to my knowledge, Kirk Franklin's son is thirty three years old. So can't really, I I can't really go all uh, his generation tripping. <laughs> that's that's he he with us, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't really know their relationship though. So like. It, if he's 33, we don't know, like, what his upbringing was with, like, Kirk and all that stuff like that. So, don't really know much about, like, how... But my main thing was just, like, I don't care what my relationship is with my family members. Like, I'm not doing nothing for other people to, you know, break down and have something to say about. Like, oh, that shit is in-house. You know? Now it's on the Summer Dream screen. You know? Interesting things, interesting times, man. But yeah, but every uh, every generation is softer than the generation before. Like that's a that's a known fact. Like and it, people it, don't pay attention to that part, but our parents are softer than their parents. Yeah, you know what I mean. Like that's just how it's broken down, and that's how it's supposed to be. Yeah, you know, we're supposed to stop fighting so much physically and start doing more shit mentally. Mentally, like that's how it's supposed to go. But with that being said, 
since people are dealing with so much trauma on top of that, they don't know how to do things in an age where it's so much information and so much outlets. Like you should be getting bread and and getting your situation right yeah. for the next generation. Yeah. Then folks end up doing using all this technology to then beef with each other. Yeah. Like all y'all did was take beef from being on the streets to being online. <laughs> to online. That's all y'all did. With all this shit around us, that's what y'all did. Yeah. And they made billions off of you. Off off the on the backs of it. Jesus, he traveled. Um Nah, gee, that was I was watching it and I was like, damn, this ain't this ain't really even funny. This is this is this is heartbreaking. And then you watch uh Kirk Franklin's apology and you're like, damn, and he and be, to your point, it's the relationships, it's the it's the it's the business that was in jeopardy, and it's like that that be my that be my my shit. It's like don't fuck up the business. Mm-hmm. Like it could, it could be it could be a lot wrong uh, with a with, even with a significant other. Like yo, we could be beefing, we could be at odds, but if if it's if it's real, my nigga, let's not fuck up the business. And then also, let's talk about the next part uh, is that. How nasty religion can be because uh, religious nuts will act as if those type of moments don't is, happen. is not Christian yeah. or whatever the hell they are. You know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? That's a, that's a human being interacting yeah. with another human being. Like, they have flaws and yeah. you should interact a certain type of way. Like, yes, I might have said some shit out of, that was out of character in the moment, but he got me fucked up right now. So, therefore, this is the, this is the type of speech I'm using. I don't get how that changes anything business wise. Yeah, absolutely. You know absolutely. what I'm saying? So that's the nasty part of this too, is that he shouldn't have to apologize. Yeah. You know, he should have an inside conversation with like how we do our family stuff. But as far as the public, yeah, the, I for one, I didn't put it out for the public to dissect. Exactly. You know what I mean? So why am I responding to publicly? Yeah. Just because they ended up going public. You know, that's a yeah. whole other thing. Like, man, I don't need to tell y'all shit. Like, I didn't put this shit out, so therefore, I ain't saying a damn thing. Yeah. I ain't got no comments. Yeah. No, I, I watched that in my heart. My heart sunk. Because it, it, it's coming on the back of uh, having some really dope uh, conversations with Teen about the business of um, child protective services. Hmm. I'm, I, I, I'm, I wasn't aware. I wasn't, I wasn't informed. Um, and I got to I got to learn the 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 structure the actual the actual uh, foundation of how child protect, protective services work, um, and and ultimately another one of those things that that is that is gut wrenching and not for and not for the weak um, that <laughs> that I will say um, is not for the weak and. What 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 children once they're in the system? This is this is on a tangent and completely n- not the same thing, but they're they're connected in in a way. Um, when children are in that system, they're a commodity and can become lost forever, and there is no true like rehabilitation or or, or, re- or repairing the the relationship. With the with the with the parent and the and the child, they're just lost in the system until and and God God willing, the family is like capable and has the the bandwidth and capacity to really iron iron and figure it out. Um, so you go, the answer ain't just just I'll beat your ass. Like nah, we know we know better than that now. Like it, it, it we make jokes about it. It's like well, we turned out good. Um. That's a debatable, but now moving forward, we do know better. What is the Le- Lex? And this is probably best for you to answer as as a parent. Um, and I'm only asking because I watch you do it all the time. That the post you posted of what Sid wrote on her mirror the other day, like that shit, really, really almost moved your boy to tears. For real, for real. Hey. Um, is awesome. So how do you navigate that space of like to L's point, nigga, every generation is softer, but that's a that is a sign that something worked. Like it shouldn't be the same fight. Sid shouldn't have remotely as hard of a life as as, as you had. No. Um but how do you counter and account for 
you know, uh, uh, and 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 it's it's crazy to think that we that somehow some way we've correlated behavioral prob- problems or 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 wanting to have raising an obedient child with fucking whoopings. But I gotta ask it: how do you how do you foresee maneuvering that and um and educated but being firm and being stern? Like what is what is that balance? So you probably already yeah. have it figured out, but I still don't have it all the way figured out. Huh. And I think since it's still pretty young, it's like there's certain things. For one, as soon as I raise my voice at her just a little bit, she already kind of break down into tears. Like Ken, Kendra, if she tried to just get, like be stern with Sydney, Sydney just rolls it off. But for me, as soon as I'm stern, she get right. But some of the things it's really about for us right now, it's consequences. And this is going to sound kind of sick on me, but the things that she really cares about, those are the things I take. Huh. So it's not just as simple as, oh, go in your room, it, you're on timeout. Nah, yeah. it's nothing like that. It's like, I know the things you like. Yeah. So if you want to act up, I'm going to take those things from you for a little bit so you understand that this is a punishment yeah. for what you did. Yeah. And, but I also sit down and I explain to her yeah. why she's in trouble. I just yeah. don't go off the handle. I'm like, look, everything you do have consequences. Yeah. So you reacted this way, this is your consequence. And it's not that we love you any less. It's not nothing like that, but you got to pay what you owe. Yes. Yeah. And like I said, I still don't know exactly how right it is or wrong, but right now it's working and she gets it and she un- she even understands it. Yeah. So, yeah. I, lo- I love that. I love that dynamic of, of language. Um, shout out to Court Nana. Um they they threw out one of the first classes. They threw out a, a stat that that floored me, um, and it's the average. It's the average amount of words. The disparity between um, oh fuck, I don't I don't want to mess up the the because that the, that part of it is very important. But the the the, the average amount of words that are learned um, in a it wasn't as simple as black and white, but the the premise was was a was a household that fuck. I, I, maybe it was black and white, but I, I that 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 feels that feels a little too um, too polarizing and not not as accurate. But the the amount of words that were learned in the household, and these two households, maybe it, perhaps it was black and white. Um, but it was it was something upwards of a few million words. Well, wow. you know what I'm saying. So when you talk about talking and use you know and and, and explaining um, the 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 repercussions and the in the in the difference in like yo why this is an issue is like it's so it's so important. Um, and I think about that and I think about that now where it's like we could we we. Uh, we were we were we went over to my grandma's house last weekend, and my mom and everybody was there. And we were we were we were honestly poking fun at this exact thing. It was like, "Yo, money, you got hella whoopings." And out of all the out of all the grandkids, I probably was the one that probably probably needed to be whooped the least. <laughs> like that's I think that's the funny part. But my mom and she and we'll have we'll have the moms on the show at some point, so she can. So Coco can defend herself because she, I know she be feeling like we be tearing her down. I, and and it, and it's it's totally not that because I wouldn't I wouldn't change a thing. There were some things that I that would that I would want to see. I'd be interested to see how things would go if that. But I'm not one of those people that live live in the past and going this should have been that and blaming like nah man. I actually I actually think back about both of my parents and go God damn I I, I go back and and marvel at. How, what they were able to accomplish, and I also go back and I and I empathize too because now and now being an adult and the the problems that niggas face from nigga taxes and credit card debt and you might have to move and this and that and I'm just like I don't have no kids and I want to go fucking you know what I'm saying like I I'm I'm be losing it some days. And so I'm going, now y'all had three, my dad had four. How did you not lose your mind? This world is sick. 
when when you when and then you throw kids into the equation. And so then the this the sad part becomes maybe maybe some of those whoopings were better off just like, yo, let's sit down, let's go for a walk, fam. Let me let me let me really talk to you. But who has the bandwidth? Who has the capacity and the fucking patience after you didn't after you didn't got your ass kicked in the world the whole day? And it, it doesn't dismiss it, but it also now that we know that, just not on on the sheer fact that I know that. When I have my kids, guess what I can't do? I can't. I I can't have a bad fucking day at work and then come home and lose my shit. At least I hope I. At least I hope that I can't. See what, what I'm saying? Like I, it's it's easy to say what you ain't gonna do when you don't have no fucking kids. Like it's it's just an easy conversation to have. Yeah, like for me, the biggest thing that I do is like I don't talk about work at home. That's what's up. Or for that matter, if somebody asks me about work, mm-hmm. I say, well, work is work. Yeah. Like, I don't take nothing from the job. I don't even, it's like, as soon as my I clock out, uh, yeah. that's left there. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like, as far as my career and film, oh, we could talk about that because it's actually something I'm passionate about. Even on a bad day of film, yeah. I'm still happy. Yeah. But work is work. Yeah. And so that helps me. With like handling anything that Sid do and yeah. how to talk to her and communicate with her. Yeah, I the 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 la- the last part about the Kirk Franklin thing is, and similar to hip hop with it becoming so mainstream, and 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 man- by mainstream just like more white people are are delving in the in the the actual commerce of hip hop, so they're 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 able to have a say. On what's secular or not, what's appropriate or not, and I don't, I just don't think that's, I don't fuck fair. I that that shit's, I don't like that shit. Like I was about to say, that's not fair. It's like nah, fuck fair. That that shit's stupid. That these guests in these space get to now govern and dictate what's what. And so when we talk about language again, I put my foot in your ass is. It should be in the fucking Hall of Fame of like words you hear from a black parent when you fucking up. Mm-hmm. That's but what you're talking about right there is kind of the things that you got to deal with uh, when you're in some of these realms. Yeah. Like I was just listening to um, 85 South uh-huh. uh, beyond the um, EYL pod. Uh-huh. Uh, it was a little while ago, but I was just now getting to that one. Uh, but um, I forgot the guy that runs everything for uh, for Carlos. Uh-huh. Uh, but they were talking about like how insulated their their situation is. Yeah, oh man, they got a they got an army over there. That's what I'm saying. South. So like the the free reign that they have to say the shit that comes to their man. mind is because like you can only partner with them. Yeah. you know what I mean. Like yeah. you can only be uh, they otherwise like if they were to separate themselves or not do anything like they say a lot of no's. You know, yeah. I and mean? there's a lot yeah. of options on the table, and they say a lot of no's yeah. because of the idea that. You know, they've done the corporate thing and knowing that they tell you what to do because it's their shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? So, like, if you're if you're getting a hand, not a, it's not a handout because you're working. But yeah. if you're getting if you're getting handed something from uh, from somebody that's not from the same background, has no clue. That all they have is the pockets. Then they have free reign to say whatever the fuck they want to say. Absolutely. They have free reign to have like whoever is the consumer can say whatever the fuck they want to say. The amount of times that consumers uh, act as if like something is theirs uh, because huh. they because they <laughs> gave some money over to it. You know what I mean? Like I gave you my fifteen, so therefore yeah. you this. You know what I mean? Like the amount of times that that's the thing. Yeah. Uh, that's just something that you got to deal with with the but the free the free reign like it's just about holding on to that as much as possible to yeah. me personally uh, because for one I don't be trying to do shit <laughs> that got to do with another person telling me what to do you know what I mean like I like I have like in in my current position like if that was the case then I would like not be doing that shit. You know what I mean? Like they, and it's, and it's well aware that that's not like some shit that I would I would go for. You know what I mean? But you know, it's a. Um, but it, that's only to a certain extent. Yeah, that's only to a certain extent because somebody else shit. You yeah. know what I mean? So that's how that's how I kind of look at it. Yeah. 